Joining me right now is human rights attorney and Lawfare Project founder, Brooke Goldstein. Brooke, thanks very much for being here. How would you assess what's happening across college campuses this, across this country? Maria, thank you so much for having me and for covering this issue. I have to say that I have been fighting anti-Semitism the majority of my adult life, and I have never seen Jew hatred rise to the level that it is rising now in the United States. And the unfortunate truth is that what's happening in Israel is being used as an excuse to attack Jews around the world. And it's the oldest trick in the book. It's scapegoating. This has nothing to do with politics. This has everything to do with Jew hatred. And unfortunately, what we've been warning about for the past 10 years, which is the radicalization of American youth on college campuses by pro terror professors yeah. and by terror affiliated student groups is now materializing. This is so incredibly disturbing. I spoke with senior advisor, the former senior advisor to President Trump over the weekend, Jared Kushner, his son-in-law. He went to the Middle East. He went to Saudi Arabia and he spoke with the leadership in, uh, in Saudi and he said that the Saudi Arabians still want to get back into the Abraham Accords. <laughs> but what he said to me about being Jewish himself was stunning. Watch this. One of the ironies is that uh, as an American Jew, you're safer in Saudi Arabia right now than you are on a college campus like Columbia University. Um, I spoke at the conference. They allowed me to speak freely. And uh, what I sensed there was that there's obviously a very uh, big uh, disgust at what happened uh, with this uh, tremendous terrorist attack uh, perpetrated by Hamas. Uh, the people of Saudi Arabia have a lot of care for the Palestinian civilians, and so they'd like to see, um, you know, Israel accomplish the mission to, um, to, uh, to, to make sure that the Hamas could be eliminated. They're against terrorism in the region in general. And he said that the Saudis still want to join the Abraham Accords, Brooke, uh, and yet the, the attacks on Jews across the country continues. What can we do about it? I think, uh, unfortunately, he might be right, but I just don't accept the scenario where in 2023 in this great country, the United States of America, that Jews are not safe. I think this is the greatest civil rights issue of our lifetime, and that is why I'm working as an attorney to provide pro bono counsel to Jewish students and Jewish professors who are attacked, because I believe that we must do what every single other minority community has done in this country, which is use the courts to enforce our rights. It is inexcusable that law enforcement is not enforcing the law, and it is inexcusable that yeah. these schools are routinely violating the civil rights of Jewish students, and they must be held accountable. Yeah. Jewish students deserve to feel safe both on and off campus. Of course. Part of this is also coming from communist China. And, and Kaylee, I want you to jump in here because I looked at a graphic in terms of global posts and particularly on TikTok. You tell us what's going on on TikTok, Kaylee. Yeah, Brooke, part of the issue and part of the reason why Israel is very concerned about the PR aspect of this is that the vast majority of youth who are on TikTok, which is the app controlled by communist China, are being flooded right now with pro-Hamas content. More than 90% of the content about the Israeli-Gaza conflict is pro Hamas and anti Israel. How on is that, TikTok. On TikTok. How does this affect our youngest generation and the way that they're viewing these issues? Again, this is a trick that was also used by the Nazis. It is the use of the media mm. to spread the dehumanization of the Jewish people so that people feel emboldened and justify to attack Jewish students, Jewish children, Jewish people, and they're using what's happening in Israel as an excuse. This is scapegoating, and we have to be extraordinarily careful with social media. On top of what you said, people People like me, people who are spreading the truth are being censured, we're being shut down, we're being told that our posts violate some sort of community standards, while on the other hand, the Hamas Holocaust denial is being allowed to be spread, and all of these hateful messages are being spread. I want to say something to the American people. This is not just a Jewish problem. This is a national security threat to the United States of America. You see what's happening at our borders. We know that there's Iranian sleeper cells. 
cells here. We know there are Chinese sleeper cells here. They have been preparing for this time for the past 10 years, and they're going to up rise and they're going to create violence here in this country and that's why we must demand law enforcement now tackle this problem yeah it's uh, very disturbing brooke it, it, it it's even more disturbing knowing that the border is wide open and people who are from outside the country are actually running who gets into the country right now uh we've got a spotlight on that as well brooke thank you thanks for your work brooke goldstein joining us this morning on that and we'll keep a spotlight on it brooke thank